morning everyone it's sunday the 8th of september it's another sunday away from me away from me from the uk and here i am grand canaria of course and well first the time is half 11 we're a bit late we're looking over to the other side of mass palomas today the uh Melonis area um also that's the other side of the dunes as well it's a little, a little bit of a bit of a bit more of a breeze today, which, to be honest, in this hot weather, is they great to say is is a bit of a relief, at least to cool things down a little bit. So we're going to go and take the bus from the Yumbo Centre. It'll take us just about 15 minutes to get round there. So back on the bus we are. This is probably the best way to get around Grand Canaria and the very cheap as out. You can of course rent cars as well. sides like this around the island but then again just like this are always developing new buildings new hotels apartments that are probably some build some here Right, we're just near Melnomeras. I don't think I've said that correctly, but anyway, we're going to walk down to the beach. A bit of a breeze today, but that can be a relief. Hope it doesn't make the sea choppy. And this looks nice, actually, what we've got here. Some architecture and all that. We're on the other side of the dunes of Mas Palomas.
So, we've come down to Far Road de Malas Paloma, to Mas Palomas. I thought that was a lighthouse. That looks lovely, that. And we are on the very southern tip of the island of Gran Canaria. This is the Atlantic coast. Um, so that further down that way, tilt you towards um, Puerto Rico and Amadoras Beach. Now this is not the beach here, the beach is on the other side of that little pier over there. The sea looks a little bit more choppy out of sea than what it has been of recently. But it'll be alright to still go in. With a nice little breeze today, that usually can help to cool things down a little bit. We're going to absolutely love it having a nice look around here. It looks a nice area indeed. Maybe like the quieter side compared to Player de Lindless, but it looks absolutely lovely down here. Behind me is the dunes of Mas Palomas and it is quite a bit of a breezy day down here today. We think the wind's uh, sort of going in a bit of a westerly, southwesterly direction. Then again, being this the tip of the southern tip of Grand Canaria, it does, it can get a bit windy down here, but it can be a bit of a respite, a little bit of a respite as well. This is heading, there's all the dunes over there. You can see all the um, sand blowing off, all the sand over there blowing off the dunes. And of course, this island and the other Canaries can get sandstorms with the sand blowing in from the Sahara Desert and usually can end up with some very dark orange skies. This is Maspalomas Pond, and all this up here, these are the sand dunes of Maspalomas. I would have liked to have walked along the dunes today, but unfortunately with that wind blowing the sand, it's, it's not something I really want to do today. Hopefully I might get on the beach maybe on the other side in uh, Playa de Lengles. Still however, it looks really nice down here, you can see all them, all the sand dunes and that, they're up, it's a actually protected area as well. Yeah, it's, it's nice down here. I suppose come down here if you want a quieter holiday compared to the other side of the dunes. All these up here, heading north up the island, these are all the mountains. It's been a volcanic island, we get a lot of uh, black colours and grey coloured mountains. They, I think uh, Mount Nevis is there somewhere.
So, tutting into a pancake with bananas, ice cream, chocolate sauce. This is actually called a Fiesta. The Dazzle Bar Cafe in um, Oasis uh, Boulevard. And my mum's going to be tutting into a ice cream sundae when it comes. And this looks absolute delicious. We're having a lovely day today. The wind feels though it has died off a little bit and the clouds are moving over. So, walked further along Mas Palomas and it's a nice area. This we've got um, shopping centres, restaurants, supermarkets, gift shops, got all sorts here. It's like, like, it's like it's one massive resort area as well and plus also it's a bit more quieter to um, play the Lindless, I think. Of course, not just about beaches here in Grand Canaria and the nightlife, there's also other features, other attractions as well. You've got there's water, there's the Aqualand water park here in Mas Palomas, there's also the Holiday World. You can do plenty of water sports like jet skiing, you can go on the boats and that. You can of course go up into the mountains as well in the middle of Grand Canaria. Um, there's, there's all sorts you can do down here in the Canaries. Next up, gonna go and catch a bus back to Playa del Inglis. I've enjoyed a nice look around uh, around the other side of Mas Palomas. Here it's 
it's nice if you just, as I said, if you want to have a quieter alternative to the other side. The wind's dying down a little bit and now the heat's really getting up. It's like about 27 degrees Celsius out here. One euro thirty for a single. That is just how cheap buses are in Spain. Of course, they drive on the right-hand side in Europe. of Erling Haaland on that display board. This is the uh, Holiday World, which is basically, it's got a fun park, bowling alley, it's got karaoke, it's got a bar as well in it. Um, it must be doing work on that big wheel, it must be doing work on it. We're just coming back in towards PDI, that's the uh, CETA shopping centre, which was like a bit of a cathedral on that. That looks kind of nice actually, that.
Right, we're going to draw back to the lodge. Those buses, the orange ones, a lot of hotel, a lot of the big hotels up this end do have shuttle buses that you can take to get down to the seafront, especially if your bus is, if your hotel is quite far away. And of course, a lot of them will do transfers to the airport, for example. So. Hey, these what these these ones look massive indeed. Let's look at them ones there. They look like the uh, Capitol Records buildings. So it's uh, ten to seven, and out we go again. Obviously, I'm not taking the camcorder out because um, it's just one less thing to carry on the night. And plus, this phone is just is good enough as well for videos. So, we'll go down the front, but where to eat, where to drink, that's our choice. So we're heading to the front of Playa del Inglis, down this way. The sun's quite hot, but at least it cools down on the night. Now, when you look at all these big hotels and apartments around us, um, I'm, they will cost quite a bit. And sometimes, obviously, there are some people who come here They'll spend the draw brought. They'll spend more time in hotels if they want to use like the facilities, say the um, the jacuzzi and the spa, the gym, the swimming pool, and that. But um, if you, but some people, of course, do like to go out more. That's what we do when we down, me and my mum down abroad. Um, so at least for what we've got, we're actually happy with that. It's a shame we had no aircon, but when I draw abroad. I like to have somewhere that's obviously clean, that's got air conditioning, a good swimming pool, maybe a, a, like a bar in it as well, that's also an added bonus, although then I dare not just go out to somewhere outside the place and get drinks cheaper. That's how I do holidays in the hot weather abroad, and already thinking where to go next year. It is another beautiful evening in Playa del Inglis and the wind has died down and that sea is calmer. I think if I'm honest it's probably been more rougher down the other side of Mas Palomas and that way is heading to the where the dunes. That's heading up to San Augustin, up towards the airport and into Las Palmas which is where we are going tomorrow morning. I'll probably be coming back on this beach at least once. So, tonight we've gone down to the Tribal Lounge next to the beach here in, P in PDI and that's a lovely view, that's what we've got from the side here, that's just brilliant that and we've got pizzas tonight, so we've got a bit, we've got a bit of Italian I've got a four cheese pizza here and my mum there's got a margarita pizza there and these look delicious, absolute delicious We'll have to let them so I've gone from Italian to back to Spanish, I should say, and I've gone for a traditional Spanish dessert, well, Spanish or Mexican. That is, of course, churros with a chocolate sauce, well, it's a chocolate dipping sauce. And it's just even more, it's stunning when it's dusk and the sundown. It's a lovely view here by the beach.
This is just stunning, this. See all that? Sano Dustin lit up in the distance there. And I tell you what, this camera uh, on this phone is better than the old phone when I had. And this is a, a beautiful, this is all beautiful, this. That's the Atlantic Ocean there. This really is where all the nightlife in Playa del Inglis is. Well, part of it, this is down on the front. The other part of it is up in the Yumbo Centre, of course. We'll be canning up to that later on. That's a nice hotel, that up there. Imagine there'll be a lot to stay in one like that. So we're going to now walk up to the Yumbo Centre. And here is one of the many hard rock cafes in the world. You come to this is of course the hard rock cafe in Grand Canaria. And imagine perhaps the menu might be slightly different than what you get in the UK. They probably have like some like Spanish items on there, perhaps. A bit of chorizo, maybe some churros as well, perhaps a bit of Tex Max perhaps. As opposed to like maybe the British one. The nearest one I can go to is of course the one in Newcastle. Here's something I've never seen before, a pizza vendor machine. So the idea is, you, um, you'll order on the screen there, and then your pizza is ready in, what, four minutes, and the debt dispensed out of that. We could do with some uh, things like this, actually, back home. Maybe get, like, a, um, a kebab vendor machine, handy for a night out. So back into the Yumbo Centre we go. If I'm honest, I think the Yumbo Centre is the highlight of the nightlife in Playa del Inglis. So the end of another fab day here in Gran Canaria. So I went down to Faro de Mas Palomas, the other side of the dunes. It was a nice place. Um, had like uh, shopping centres, bars and restaurants. Um, like, like a resort, all in, all in one, to be honest. Um, as I said, it was like the quieter side um, compared to here in Playa del Inglis, where it's the, um, the, where it's the more lively side. It was really, really windy. That's one thing the Canaries are known for, winds. and. Grand Canaria is no exception, so it was windy um, on that side because uh, we were on the very southern tip of Grand Canaria um, and the winds died down in the evening. Getting around this place, around this island on the buses, it's absolutely cheap as out. Literally what, one euro thirty for a single? We could probably get a return for like two euros, two twenty perhaps. That's just how cheap they are. They're much cheaper than our bus fares back in the UK. Even cheaper than the bus fares while well, they're currently £2 each in the UK. Over here is cheaper than that. And, um, and we've been out this evening um, and then come back here. Uh, a bit of day out tomorrow is planned. Um, and I'll see you in that bit. For you, just be a few moments. Good night. Buenos dias. Hello. Hola. Today is Monday the 9th of September. And uh, today we're going up to Las Palmas, the capital of the island of Gran Canaria. Not the Spanish capital, of course. That, of course, is Madrid on the mainland. But let's go to Las Palmas, which will have a bit more of a... Um, bit more of a Spanish mainland feel to it. Big city. It's got a beach as well, but we're not going on that today. So we're going to go and have a, a walk around the city and see what it's like. 
to do that would obviously attach the bus to take us up to there, should take about 50 minutes. So we're walking up the same way as what we've been doing a few times. And we've been absolutely enjoying it over here. I knew, of course, Branton area is known for being hilly. This is a bit hilly, a bit of a hilly town, this, but onwards we go. Right, change of plans. And this is what can happen when you go on holiday. We were going to try and get the bus up to Las Palmas, but unfortunately, one went past full and standing. Um, we do not want to be waiting around in this heat. We'd rather be doing something. So, we'll go and tap at the beach stuff and we will head to another man made beach trolls and Fidel Mar, which someone has told me is really nice. So, this is what happens when I do come away. When plans change, they have to be done in a flash. So, out we come to try again. We're going to catch the bus from the outside the Umbo Centre and take us along to Anfi Del Mar, which is on the way towards Puerto Rico. We need to catch the 30 bus, or 33 actually. It's a 33 bus we need to catch. At least better, better late than never, we are on the way. Not to Las Palmas, but at least we're going to another beach. On the close road we draw with spectacular views. So plan changed. Let's have a look at uh, player Anan Anfi Del Mar. And straight away, I think this is going to be a lovely one to be on today. Ah, look at all these palm trees and that. These look absolute stunning, this. Well, I'm glad the plans changed at the last minute, and so here we are, come to Playa Anfi Del Mar, right next to Anfi Del Mar Beach Club, and oh, this is going to be a, this is another stunning beach, this, a bit like a smaller version of Amadoras Beach, I should say, it's a man-made one, and this sand comes from the Caribbean, from what I know, so, it is, it's just absolutely lovely, this, and that's what we're going to be doing spending time on here today. Yo, you need to get around the 
Another wonderful day in Gran Canaria it's been and honestly we've come here to Anfi Del Mar and what another stunning beach location this is. The beach is just round to the right there and over up here you can do water sport activities, you can go on boat rides, do jet staying and all that. I did jet staying two years ago in Crete. Lots more hotels and apartments over here up there that's the main road that take you back to where Play de Lindless and then you can also use that road to get to the uh, GC1 the uh, Grand Canaria motorway and this weather has just been absolutely beautiful indeed look at all their apartments up on those hills and someone told me it costs about 10000 to buy one of them. Mind you, I would love an apartment or a room in one of them. They look absolutely stunning indeed. We'll look, we'll look around the other side and we'll see what else we can see.
What another stunning view of Anfi Del Mar. And there's a player, Anfi Del Mar, over there. I'm so glad we stumbled upon this. I'm absolutely so glad we came here today. We were going to come, I think, tomorrow actually, but I'm so glad that Mimi Mam stumbled on this. Just that, that water's just glistening on the beach and honestly I've been for a few swims in that today it's absolutely beautiful and this is actually a man-made beach this the sand here is actually apparently imported from the Caribbean we're so basically on this sort of this beach you get a taste of the Caribbean Sea here and that's the thing of course when you come abroad like when I went to Italy last year these little gems little treasures that you might not know were there but then you realise that they are. That's what, that's what I like when you go to places that you've never been before. You always come across, thing, across different things that you never knew were there. Once we're done here, we're going to catch the bus back to where Player Del Inglis. This is where we say goodbye to Anfi Del Mar. Definitely another, another stunning beach and branch area. I recommend you all visit. So another trip on the course road, back towards Mas Palomas.
tell you what though, on a road like this, I don't know if I want to be driving it with a bit, with a bit buff. Does look, don't look down. Mind you though, the views on this course road are absolutely stunning indeed. Though, I would love to do this sort of road with a, uh, a Subaru Impreza, like a rally car. So that bus there, that's the number one from Puerto de Morden to Las Palmas. That's one of the main principal routes on the island. It also draws uh, via the airport as well. So we're back in Playa de Linas, Mas Palomas. We're gonna um, head back to uh, the lodge to um, drop, just basically drop it, refreshing up. Um, a couple of bits we need to get and then we're going to head back out to the Yumbo Centre and also going to dump the camcorder as well for the day. I'll uh, end this bit now. Um, so yeah, Anfi Del Mar, I absolutely recommend you visit. What a beautiful, another beautiful beach it is. So, so far that's three stunning beaches we've come across. Anfi Del Mar, Amadoris and of course the one here. So obviously it's hopefully we'll get to Las Palmas, we should do what we are going to tomorrow. We've pretty much got a plan now set for the rest of it. The rest of the holes. Uh, but in the meantime, it's a good night from this bit. And again, I'll see you in a few more, for you will be a few moments time. Buenos dias. Today is Tuesday, the 10th of September, and today we're going to have another shot at getting up to the capital of Gran Canaria, Las Palmas. We were at Lador yesterday, but we we're having a couple of troubles with the buses, um, and apparently yesterday was a bank holiday as well, so the frequency might not have been as much as what it is today. Um, we're going to walk to the Yumbo Centre, catch the 30 bus. So Las Palmas will have a bit of a, um, a bit more of a Spanish mainland feel to it. The likes of, say, Seville, Barcelona and Madrid. Although, of course, unlike the two, they don't have anything on rails at all, but that's not what I'm here today. It's got a nice beach, so we're just going to have a look at it today. And the journey time, probably about 45 minutes to take us up to there. So we're doing the walk that's now become a bit familiar to us, walking towards the Yumbo Centre. Lots of uh, holiday apartments, hotels around here. Some people, of course, in the UK, they'll actually buy a holiday home out here. Or even, like, say, the other canaries, like Tenerife and Lanzarote, for example. It's a little cloudy today, but that's pass that'll pa pass us over very quickly, and the red hot sun is just behind us. So, no problem getting on at this time. We're on the number 30, which is like an express service up to Las Palmas. It'll take about 50 minutes. 
that in the distance over there, that's the GC1, that's the Gran Canaria equivalent of the A1. GC1, we'll take us out to actually go past the airport before we get to Las Palmas. Dunes of Mas Palomas down there. I'll be back on that beach, on the beach down there tomorrow.
up to Grand Canaria Airport now.
Branton area does get a lot of uh, freight and traffic. You can see all them ships and boats out to sea in the Atlantic. bus stations on Las Palmas. So that is the other bus company that runs through Las Palmas, uh, the old uh, Ibrita. Well this is actually a big city there so we'll be doing a lot of walking. So this half of the bus station is above ground, the other bit is below ground. But this reminds me of the old Eldon Square bus station. Thank you. 
down here it's somewhere off the beach area which is where we want to go first ships you will I'm sure you get to cruise ships down here as well I would not want to go on in the middle of the port as well. It would not be very clean. Would not be very clean at all. And so it's 11.37 and we have arrived in the port city and the capital of the island of Gran Canaria, Las Palmas. We're, I think we're up at like the northern end of the city. We're to have a walk to the beach, which is, well, just to have a look, it's called uh, Playa Santurias. Where we, so we need to go this way. Which is this way here. Now, of course, normally big cities have like a metro or a tram system, like on the mainland Spain, but not this time. We're using our own two feet and probably the bus to get around to a couple of places. So, if you keep on walking this way, that'll take us to the beach. 
in this city it'll just be a matter of finding obviously the beach, shopping streets and any monument from the cross because if I'm honest I can't see this city being too, too fancy like for example the lights of Madrid and Barcelona but still it's worth it just to take a little break from the beaches and come up and see the other side. Frankly, because it is a cloudy day today, that actually will be a godsend for us today. A little break from the heat, so things are a bit more cooler. So, here is Las Centias Beach, here in Las Palmas, sort of like the north west end of the city. It's a city beach this, this would be like the Gran Canaria equivalent of Barcelona's city beach I would think. So I've got some uh, more hotels and apartments over there. I would think being they'll be a bit more pricey I think if you were to come up here for your holidays to this end of the island yeah it's a nice nice beach this sun's breaking through got some like little rock pools and that little rock pools down here and there's more on this side all the city is in towards the very left of here we will have a look at some of it today and here we got the some of the Rocky Mountains of um, Gran Canaria. Now, if you head, if you were to head straight across the Atlantic this way, then go left for a bit, you'll actually end up in Tenerife. You'll end up in the capital city there, Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Uh, which you can't quite see it today, but I would think on a very very clear day, you might actually just see the tip of Tenerife. Which one year I might actually done for me holidays.
claro, por un lado la ropa de salud. We've just been taking a nice casually stroll along Playa to Las Cantres. Now I think like restaurants and stuff like that up here would be more pricey compared to Mas Palomas and uh, Amadoras and all that. But it's a nice, it's a nice uh, city beach here, got some lovely scenery around as well, the mountains and that. We're having a lovely day up here. So, we've done what a tourist would do, and that's asked for a map. So we're actually up in the, uh, I think I'll say it's the new town area of Las Palmas, with the hotels and the beach. And then further down the city is the old town, the uh, historic quarter, sort of like museums and cathedrals and that. We will go and have a look at them later, hopefully. So it's like how, say, Benidorm has got an old and a new town. And also like Edinburgh, for example, has got an old and a new town. It'd be nice to them, these clouds went away, but it's actually uh, given us a little bit of a respite for a while. At last, the sunshine is now out. Temperatures about hitting the mid 20s so far, and as always, the sea down here it looks absolutely beautiful. That to go and swim in crystal clear blue. This is the nicest part of the Atlantic Ocean where it is crystal clear blue and that lovely to swim in. Unlike the colder bit up our end, well, of course, our end's the North Sea where we live. This is much different than South Shales and Whitley Bay. So we've walked along that way all the way to uh, pretty much nearly around there actually. We're now going to walk further down. Well, not to, uh, not to where the bridge is, but at least to, uh, I'd say, perhaps to that yellow building just down there. Both me and my mum, we're having a lovely time in GC. So we've come away from the beach, we're going to have a walk around the new town area of Las Palmas. We're going to be walking up to uh, Plaza de España. 
which I think is up towards the end of this road. Now there's the other, they're the other buses that run around the city, the yellow buses, um, different company, and they actually do have bendy buses here in Las Palmas. We're going to head back to the bus station and get the bus down to uh, the old town. Just take a look at uh, Plaza de España, a uh, historic uh, structure in Las Palmas. You usually think centres like this can be considered a bit like the centre of the city, or it's like the centre of the new town. And there's like shops further down there as well, so we're going to have a look around. This looks a nice area actually. Ah, like these, set up the cities over in Spain, palm trees. You never really get any palm trees like this back home in the UK. So I just popped into McDonald's to get an ice cream and I've gone for a Sunday, which you, you can get here in Spain, but again, you can't get it in the UK. And this is a new one, a white chocolate sauce one with peanuts. So the idea is to put the peanuts on top of the ice cream. So we're walking down one of the, what must be the, one of the shopping streets in Las Palmas, Avenue Jose Mense Lopes, Lopez. And this will take us east to where the bus station is. And that's where we'd get the bus to head to the Old Town area. So while we're walking down the main street, we've come across El Corte Inglis, which is actually a big department stop, department shop in Las Palmas. I wonder if it's a one like throughout Spain perhaps. But anyway, nevertheless it's got your usual department shop sections like a food section, toys, clothing, electricals, books, perfumes. It's sort of like um I would say our uh, Phoenix department shop or even like um like maybe well a bit of House of Fraser, a bit of um uh, well, I would say a little bit of Harrods, for example. It's just nice that we've had, a, some, I've had days on the beach just to come and do something different, just to cool off, look around the shops and that. So we're going to attach the bus down to the other bus station. That'll take us to the Old Town area of Las Palmas. This is the GC1, the motorway. Take that all that we'll go all the way down to um, Puerto de Morden, actually, on the south of the island. So as you can see, Gran Canaria is a it's a major port by the looks of it. We've got a lot of uh, freight, containers, and a lot of ships out at sea as well. 
And that's like, must must be like the harbour area over there. Got a lot of boats down there. And this is a little beach here. Playa de las Alcaravanas. Baroness. But it's not really a well used beach. And if I'm honest, it's not a beach I'd want to go on because I, I wouldn't fancy a drone in the sea when it's right next to the port. So this is the GC1 motorway running in the middle of the city here. And when it goes under the bridge, under the through the tunnel there, it's sort of like the um, central motorway in Newcastle where the A167 becomes a, a motorway. This is technically the Spanish motorway. Same colour signs, blue coloured as well. So now we've come down to the old town area of Las Palmas. This here is Cali Tirana that we're walking down and you can actually tell this is the old town area because we've got a lot of like old style buildings and that round here. This is actually looks, looks really nice straight away if I'm honest. Let's have a look. Well, as we can see here, it looks like we've got evidence that trams once ran in Las Palmas. Grand Canaria does not, of course, have anything on rails. However, Tenerife does have um, a tram system in Santa Cruz. I think they should build one for Las Palmas, I think. We'll slowly make our way back through Las Palmas historic water and we're gonna um, get back to the bus station. Here we go. 
we've actually liked the, his, the uh, old town here because there's been a lots of um, different restaurants, lots of uh, historic buildings, shops, restaurants as well. Out some of these side street ones might actually be cheaper than Playa de Lingles. So back onto the 30 we are. This is the express route that goes down to Faro de Masbalomas. This goes a lot of the uh, GC1 because it actually avoids the airport. <laughs>
looking to play the Lindless Wee Ball. We're going to get off the bus on the uh, Avenue de Tal de Italia. Right, back in a very sunny play de Lindless. Blue skies coming up at 25 to 7. We're going to go back to the hotel, freshen up, dump my camcorder, and then back out we go. Right, it's 20 past 8 on a very warm night in Player de Lindless and out we done again. We're going to go down to the front. Where to eat and where to drink tonight. So for tea tonight, I've decided to go on for a Spanish exclusive McDonald's. Mickard Stream, you cannot get this in England. And I've got the pulled pork one, a double one. I've got milk chicken bites, again, can't get them over there. And of course, loaded wedges of bacon and cheese. And I've got a larger court as well. Also a spice salsa buffalo, another ex Spanish exclusive as well. Lovely jubbly. And one more Spanish exclusive item, M&M McFlurry with a caramel sauce. Right, just having a walk. Um, we've actually been looking where we're going to go for our last meal, which will be tomorrow night, for our final night in Grand Canaria. We're feeding the state tomorrow night. We've had our Matty D's, quite stuffed actually. We're going to go up into the Yumbo Centre for a few drinks. Because if I'm honest, out of, out of both, out of between the front and the Yumbo Centre, I personally think the Yumbo Centre is where all the nightlife, all the best atmosphere is. Because down here it's very, I would say, restaurant oriented. But then again, you know, Grand Canaria is full of all sorts of things to suit your taste. So we've come up to the Yumbo Centre once again. This is where we have been coming on a night time because, as I said, this is where all the nightlife is, in my opinion. Now, how we got up here to the Yumbo Centre was instead we got a taxi up. Three euro eighty-five. Taxi fares here in Spain are generally cheaper than what they are back in Britain. Like, if I was to get a taxi from my town centre into my estate, it would be five quid. But for a, a similar journey from down the beachfront. Up to here, three euro eighty-five. Well, to be honest, in pounds that would be just under three quid. That's just fantastic. So it's the end of another fab day in Gran Canaria and we've been up to Las Palmas today, the capital city of the island. Um, it's, a, it's a nice city and how we got there, we got the bus up. There's quite a few buses that go from down here up to Las Palmas but we got the number 30 which was an express service, it only took about 45-50 minutes. Um, it was a nice ride up the GC1, the Gran Canaria motorway. Um, up the coast and this one actually went right past the airport it's a, like a non-stopper service um, took us to Las Palmas uh, there's a few bus stations in that city one of them you get off in the old town we went further up to the new town area where Las Centres Beach was it's a nice uh, city beach compared to down here it's a bit more 
it's not as lively as down here in PDI um, and I think it's it's not really geared up like to the Brits as much as uh, what is um, is what uh, down here is geared up as there's, there's obviously the hotels and apartments in there but they'll be more expensive there's a lot more formal restaurants around um, probably I would think like used mainly by the locals and that so we looked around looked, but it was a ni still a nice beach to walk on that's what we've obviously been here today to check the different beaches out um, we went to we had a look around the shops um, some high street shops including a, a department shop what we saw um, and then we got the bus from Santa Catalina station uh, bus station down to where uh, uh, San uh, Tel Telmore um, that was like an underground bus station and there we got off there and had a look around the historic quarter side of uh, Las Palmas and we actually liked that bit better than the new town um, it had like like old historic buildings, a cathedral um, the sort of things you would find in a city centre being divided into like an old and new town, so it's like um, Edinburgh for example the old town on one side and then the other and then the new town on the other side of uh, Waverley Bridge um, so yeah it's, it's a nice city if you want to if you just if you want to take a break for, if you're down here on your holidays and you want to take a break from the beaches like maybe go and do a bit of city sightseeing and that it was also probably one of the dullest days because um, it was quite cloudy when we got up there which does happen here in Granton area it's actually um, clouding a bit now actually as I speak but of course hopefully that will be uh, clear tomorrow morning um, which of course is our last uh, full day oh and of course I said the bus fares um, are really cheap so I think it singles what you can get return tickets to certain destinations on the global bus network um, but we um, but we paid about um, I think about six euro each for a single so that's there and back so basically 12 euro return to get from here up to uh, Las Palmas so into the final full day we go which of course is our last full day here in Granton area and we're just going to be spending the whole day here in the town down on the beach getting last minute uh, souvenirs and um, bits of oh yeah we actually went out, we went out tonight, went down to McDonald's Spanish exclusive meal I had oh my god, we the, the British McDonald's is just absolute rubbish these days the Spanish McDonald's is just so much better every country I go to I have to try whatever, like an exclusive item on the McDonald's menu of course me being a foodie lover and then we've been up to uh, the Yumbo Centre uh, tonight and I recommend you go into um, Sparkle's Show Bar a brilliant atmosphere in there like they've got like, cabaret and all that um, of course drinks are cheap about 3 50 for a large pint of uh, Tropical that's the local beer I've been drinking I recommend you go there We've even done a taxi a couple of times as well today, and they've been dirt cheap as well. So as I said, we go into the last uh, full day tomorrow, and we're going to be spending the day here. So you'll see me in a few moments' time. For me, I'm going to have to once again try and get some sleep in the heat in this apartment. And trust me, it ain't easy at all. So from this bit, good night.